<laughs> I'm, I'm gonna cut it out. <laughs> Alright, go. Bro, just act normal. Dude, like, it's crazy. I feel like I haven't been on YouTube. Like, what the heck? Alright, alright. Alright, everyone. So, before I do the QA and my board uh, setup, I actually got grip tape that I'm gonna use for my new board, which I'm really excited. Oh, bro. Oh my God. You don't yeah. even know. Like, I've been waiting. Like, the grip tape I have right now, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like it. The pink one, it looks, I I'm not gonna lie, it, it's ugly and disgusting. I thought it was gonna be cool. The grip tape didn't even last long. Like the first day I was skating, it felt like, and it's mob grip. That's why I was so surprised. It, it didn't, it, it wasn't good. It just wasn't good. Oh my. Ooh! Oh, man, that was bad. Bro, look at that. One piece, Luffy. Dude, you cannot even skate that. Just... I'm gonna skate this. And the other one that I got was, this one, fully Cooly, Conti, and now that's in the middle, so it's like he's looking at him, so I'm really hyped on that. What'd you get? All right, I don't know. I got grip sent from LM Grip Tape. If you look him up on Instagram. Um, let's see. I don't know. I just told her to surprise me. Should I open the letter first or the grip? You got a letter? Yeah. I didn't even get a letter. You're lucky. Did I get a letter? Two grips? Logo or like, I don't know, their name? LM Grip Art. That's their name. Let's see. Oh. 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 Michelangelo? Dang. Right you here? got Michelangelo. Ain't this the one that has a nunchuck? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, LM Grip Art stickers. This LM Grip Art. Yo, Freddy, thanks for the support, and I hope you enjoy the gear. Shred out on and never give up. Thank you. Really hyped that Power Grip Tape sent me these. Oh man, you already know I'm gonna use this one first. So, almost looks like art you shouldn't even put up in the wall, so. Dude, that one's like a wall, to be honest. So I'm gonna go get my boards and start setting up to questions that people asked on Instagram. So let's do that. This beautiful Powell Peralta flight deck. So hyped. Once again, thank you, Jaegerman. You are the best lifesaver. And this is my current deck. This cameo grip that really isn't that great. Doesn't feel like there's grip. And this is mob. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. Didn't feel that good on uh, when I was flicking tricks and then the Cairo I did put it on my Instagram story like that I was gonna be doing a Q&A so if you had any questions to just ask me and Here are a lot of people's questions like so I'm just gonna be going through as much as I can <laughs> the, <laughs> the roost Size board size 8 size 8 board. That's my size. That's the ride the size I ride wheels I don't have a, a actual preferred brand. I'll, I'll ride any wheels trucks thunder trucks and uh, As far as bearings, I have no idea I just put bearings in my wheels and I skate same thing with hardware all that stuff is like kind of not really important to me only when it comes down to the board and the trucks it means a lot so uh, That board really did great, but a flight deck you're not gonna really break it like that I love grip tape art and this is power grip tape once again go check them out tell them what's up they have a lot of awesome grip and this is just amazing look at this he did it he or she did this within like a day oh what's my favorite brand borderline eBay's brand I love it I love what he stands for what would you rate heritage skate park heritage skate park is my local skate park I would rate that probably a 10 because it has everything you need except for it doesn't have lights so I guess nine dude this grip tape is amazing um do you think you can come to a Fallbrook I don't know where that's at and when it comes to traveling I'm very uh, busy because I'm always here for uh, hanging out with my son when I'm back here home. If not, I'm always up north skating at Braille. So uh, any requests I have to do with traveling to go places, I'm sorry. What got you into skating? Uh, what got me into skating was one of my close friends, Mario Torres. He, he got me into skating. Besides that, uh, trying to impress girls, which is probably the wrong way to go about it. What was my first trick, Ollie? What do you think? a beginner skater should ride he or she should be riding 
anything that feels comfortable to them. Worst past injury, I tore my meniscus back in December 2017 and I wasn't able to skate for six months, which sucks. That's the most longest I've ever gone without skating and I'm thankful because now I'm back and I'm skating and it makes me happy. I haven't been reached out by any board brands, but it's all right because I'll just keep skating. Top three favorite skaters, Leo Romero, Mark Johnson and Mark Suchu. They're up there, man. Um, how often were you skating specifically to impress girls? Probably like just middle school, which was my seventh to eighth grade year. And after that, it just kind of went away. So I'd say the first year of skating didn't work, like I said, but just know that I fell in love with skating and it became the best thing ever in my life. One of the best things ever. Getting re rid of handrail fear. Practice skating on a flat bar as much as possible. And then from there, use that confidence that you have on like practicing on a flat bar to get on a down rail. How does your body feel after taking mad slams? I mean, your body's gonna react, it's gonna hurt. But what I do is like, I do my best to uh, take care of it with like massages, uh, going to the, the jacuzzi and like just making it feel comfortable. But I'm just saying, tr treat your body well because you only got one body. Most stairs of Ollie is 14. But that question isn't something that should be important. Like, uh, my, yeah, that's the biggest stairs I've Ollie, but like, that's not the biggest thing I've Ollie. So it's just kind of like. I don't know, I get it, like it makes you impressed. Oh, like that's the most you've ollied. But I've definitely, tr I've definitely tried to jump bigger things than a 14. Uh, what's my motto? Life takes care of us. I tell that to my friends all the time. Life takes care of us. I just feel like that's the thing, like, uh, and it's not even to hit people with like religion or anything, but like, uh, there's some people that don't believe in God. There's people that their God is something else. But when you say life, it's like life is your experience. Basically, you're like you're living right now. Like, like you're breathing, and life is anything really. Like, look at that. That's life over there. I'm just saying, life takes care of us. That's what I say. That's my motto. Like, once again, you don't have to agree with that. That's just the way I see things. And. It's just to be more on the positive side because I feel like being optimistic is key. What inspired me to skate and improve? Like, I, I'm, I'm assuming like you mean like skate harder and improve. So what inspired me was just like, oh, I've been skating for a good amount of time, which I was like probably like five years in already. And I was like, dude, I've been skating for already a good amount of time and I should do my best to get better or do something with this and a lot of the time and what uh, what I do is like I, I like to watch a lot of great skateboarders and see if I can do a lot of those moves because that just tells me that I'm on the right track if I can land that and just seeing how long it takes that's the crazy part like the process actually is something that you should enjoy because yeah it feels good to land the trick and I know a lot of people get frustrated when it comes down to um, like the trick taking a long time, but think about it. That is the feeling. That process is the feeling. Like it's it's weird. Like recently, I learned how to do uh, 540 flip lip and back lip slide heel flip out, like back set heel flip out. And the process was crazy. Like it, one took one was faster. One took days. And it's just like, it's interesting how it all works, but you can see how much you progress when you really believe. And I think that's another thing. You should believe in what you want to do. It took me three months to learn how to kickflip. That was probably the most, uh, one of the most things that was frustrating, but it's okay. A trick that was more frustrating than that one was crook nollie flip. Crook nollie flip took me uh, a year. That really was upsetting. I remember I almost cried because I really wanted that. And that's that's more recent, to be honest. Like uh, 2015, 2014 is when I learned that one. But that was like one of those tricks that actually made me upset. I started skating when I was 12, back in 2004, and now I'm 27, and it's been 15 years. Some of the best times of my life with the skateboard, to be honest.
Chicharron. <laughs> yeah, chicharrones are so good. Are you still with Borderline? As far as I know, I am on Borderline still. Borderline is probably one of the coolest things ever. So if you don't know, go follow Borderline. What's my best moment in skateboarding? When I met Ipe in Japan. That was one of my favorite moments because like I never met him and through skateboarding and YouTube, I met him and I was able to skate in Japan with him and it was kind of surreal. Same thing with like South Korea. When I went to South Korea with my friend Ivan, amazing. Also New York, meeting Danny, crazy. My favorite My Hero Academia fight was probably the most recent one with Chisa. No. That one's good too. The, the most recent one with Chizuke and um, uh, Ma, uh, Midoriya. But the one in the movie. Oh, if you haven't seen the movie, recently came out, go watch it. That's a good fight. That one's so good. I recommend watching that. And it's on theaters. Big screen's always amazing. I was meeting Jaws. Jaws is all just the nicest person ever. He really is. He's like humble. He's like a monster too. Seeing him go on the Braille drop was insane. He just did not stop. Favorite shoe brand? Adidas. Hardest slam I ever took. I tried to cannonball over this fence and my back wheel clipped. Crazy. I just went straight to the ground. That's one of my hardest slams ever. I can't do it. My my hand, Someone said to make a water drop with my mouth, but I can't do it because my fingers are all dirty. When am I turning pro? Honestly, I don't know. Probably won't ever happen. And if it doesn't happen, I won't be mad about it. And I'm not saying that because I don't want it to happen. I'm just saying because there's all, already enough pros out in the world where they don't really make enough money from being pro. And that's just crazy to me like think about it soccer players basketball players make so much money for being professional at what they do and skateboarders don't get anything like them i know there's other sports but that's just my thoughts on that favorite street spot in bakersfield <laughs> uh there's a spot called the ditch there's east bakersfield high i love east bakersfield high it just has so much spots and stern middle school those are my favorite spots here in Bakersfield. How many kickflips can I do in a row? Um, I want to say at least I can do five or f at least five. I'll claim five, but I, I, I'm not going to do them because right now I'm, I'm not even in my proper setting. But I think I, I'm pretty sure I could do five. Wheel size, I like 51s. I really don't know if wheel sizes make a big difference, but that's just what I ride. My favorite trick is the ollie. My favorite trick and my hardest trick is an ollie because ollie is the trick you need to do anything in, like grinds. And to be able to do a frontside feeble, a back lip, a 278 lip, you need to do an ollie. So that's why I say ollie. And the hardest trick, ollie, because you gotta perfect the ollie to do a bunch of tricks. If you don't respond, you sit on lamps for a living. Well, I'm sitting on a tree trunk right now, so that's not it. Favorite One Piece character would have to probably be Law. Law is such a cool character. His backstory was awesome. Corazon, oh my gosh. Like, One Piece is just like such an amazing anime. I love it. You're a high school graduate from East High, class of 13, while well, I'm class of 10. To this year, we have our high school reunion, which is so strange to even think about. I'm not even sure if I want to go or not. My friends were saying I should go. I don't know. Should I go? What color are you going to dye your hair next? I am not sure. I was thinking about blue, and then someone said, you should, it, would you ever do pink? I want to do pink, but I don't know. What keeps you motivated to carry on skating? Um, a big motivator is just like to look forward to uh, what you can progress in and look back at that. Cause like I could look back at like four years ago and how my style has changed or how I used to do tricks and they're different. How is my kid? He is great. He is inside of the house and he's waiting for me to finish so he, we can hang out. Favorite color trucks? Um, I don't know. It's just, I'm mean, black ones are nice. 
Will you follow me? Uh, only if you follow my best friend, if you find out who that is. What board size do you ride? Do you smoke weed? No, I don't. Not, not my style. I would, I would like to move to the USA. Would you recommend me a nice city state? Greetings from Spain. Uh, Victor underscore saved me. I am not sure. It, uh, a lot of people that have ever moved usually move to like LA or just you got to be prepared with money. That's what I think. Someone wrote me in language I can't understand. I'm sorry. Game escape. Let's go. Favorite park or spot in Vegas World Heritage Skate Park is my favorite park of all time. It's just, and I'm just being subjective. Can you do Dragon Flip? If, if not, do a persistence on it. <laughs> it's funny. This earlier this week, we were I was just messing around trying to Dragon Flip, but dude, how the heck do they even? How do you get a Dragon Flip to form? That's gnarly. What inspired you to do skateboarding YouTube full time? John Hill. John Hill. Uh, actually. I saw him doing that and I was like, dude, I have a camera, I have a laptop, I'm doing this. <laughs> Why are you such a cool dude? Uh, I do the best I can to be me. I don't want to fake a persona. I don't know. That's just what I do. Favorite anime? Uh, One Piece. Where are you and your family from? My family's from Mexico. How's life been? Life's been amazing. Well then, I set this board up. But there's like, I can make a few, uh, uh, a few more. Do an, imp an impossible off this three block. Uh, I don't know what's impossible, probably impossible, but I don't know. I actually want to address this right now. I don't really like skating the three block because that's not what I want to progress in. I want to impress. I want to progress on the bump to rail because the bump to rail provides me like tricks I've never done, and uh, I could keep going for longer than I would on the three block. The three, the three block, you get tired and your body becomes really sore because you're constantly jumping down something. Uh, the bump to rail, you don't get as tired because you're just using a bump to go onto a rail and it's like low impact. So I could definitely go probably for like four hours on that versus the three block. The three block would probably be like 30 minutes to an hour. So just saying that. Uh, would you ever come to Denmark? I would love to come to Denmark. What do you think the era of skating you grew up in has to do with the tricks you try now? Um, I watched a lot of Louis Barletta, uh, Jerry Sue, uh, Mark Johnson, uh, Mark Suchu, uh, some of the more uh, YouTube people that were pu putting in before YouTube was like, like vlogging and uh, what it is now. Like Vincent Lovano's, I loved his parts. I just watched them almost religiously. Um, that's Life was one of the most impactful videos in my life because I saw Leo Romero. I think just a lot of things, like I really like rail skating more than a lot of the other stuff. But I mean, that's just with it. It depends on people, but it had a great impact, I think, because I, I, I do my best to be as diverse as possible. Who are some of your biggest inspirations in skating? Uh, Rodney Mullen, for sure. Tony Hawk. Uh, there's just a lot of people with Mark Suchu, Mark Johnson, um, P Rod, Eric Costin, Shane O'Neill. Like, although these aren't the people that I watch every day, these are people that I know they're very inspiring and I listen, I watch them. And then if they have a nightclub, I listen to them and it's so interesting to see how they see skateboarding. I would say uh, hard, medium bushings versus soft. Next trick I'm learning, I still haven't done trade nose grind and that's my fault because I've put that on uh, a pause, That's, but I'm gonna do that, I swear. And that's pretty much all the questions I've got answered. I screenshotted this around uh, three o'clock. Anything that didn't make it past three o'clock on my Instagram, I'm sorry. Uh, but this is it, this is a board setup. One piece, a Luffy grip tape, uh, buy power grip, go, go let power grip, just go tell him what's up, like, dude, look at this, epic grip, it's probably the best <laughs> grip I've gotten in so forever, and then Pow flight deck, thanks to Yega Man, he sent me a box of two boards, and the shoes I'm wearing right now, which I'm going to do a review on, and yeah, 
thank you everyone for that participated in this uh, Q&A asking me. I went through as much as possible. I'm sorry if I wasn't making eye contact. I was reading. I was doing this. And there's so much going on. But, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. And leave a comment with what you think I should be doing next. Like, what, what video do you want me to do? Like, I love street skating. I'm going to vlog that. I'm going to keep doing talking about my shoes that I skate. Because, like, I think it's best to inform y'all when I'm skating and how fast they rip or how good they are, in my opinion. And just other things. But, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and sign out. Until next time. Yeah.